Hello students, happy learning. So we taught our objectives of the lesson. First, identify the properties of equality. Second, determine the properties of equality illustrated in the statements. So ito po yung kailangan natin matutunan or ma-master this week. So with that, let's talk about equality. When we say equality is simply a symbolic expression of the fact that two things are equal. Ito po yung example niya sa real life, no? This is a balanced scale of justice. Okay, para saan ba ito? Para matimbang po natin kung ano yung weight nung nasa left side at ganun din sa right side. So how are we going to make it balance? So meron tayong mga properties in equality, of the equality, no? So we have this reflexive property, symmetric property, transitive property, addition property, multiplication property, and substitution property. So ito po yung kailangan natin matutunan this week. Okay, so with that, so let A, B, and C are real numbers. So let's have discuss first reflexive property of equality. When we say reflexive for any real number A, A is equal to A. Ano ibig sabihin na to? Okay? Any number or expression is equal to itself. So pag sinabi natin equal to itself, just like a mirror, no? kaya nga siya kapag humarap po tayo sa asalamin, yun yung reflection natin sa sarili. So kung ano makikita natin doon, yun yung sarili natin. Kaya nga equal to itself, yun po yung ibig sabihin ng salitang reflexive property of equality. Okay, let's have example. I have here 5 is equal to 5. Diba? Sabi doon, kung si A ay equal lang siya di A, A. Kaya nga 5 is equal to 5. Yun yung reflexive or reflection. Okay, one half is equal to one half. Okay, the same lang dapat siya yung nasa left side, kailangan same lang po yung nasa right side. Okay, let's have number three. Negative three x, kailangan parehas lang din siya sa right side. Yun yung negative three x, para siyang mirror. Okay, and we have number four, seven y plus one, kailangan yung nasa right side niya, yun yung reflection niya. Okay, yun yung seven y plus one din. They are equal. Yun yung equal to itself. So with that, let's have another, meron tayong tinatawag na symmetric property of equality. Ano naman ang ibig sabihin nitong property nito? Okay, if A is equal to B, then we can say that B is equal to A. Kung mapapansin natin dyan, ito ay the number or expressions it can be interchanged. Ibig sabihin niya, pwede natin pagpalitin yung pwesto nila. Kung ang unang number natin si A, pangalawa si B, pwede natin pagpalitin ng pwesto. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng symmetric property. Okay, gaya ito, no, yung pakpak ng butterfly. Okay? If this is the axis of symmetry, yung tinatawag ito, kapag tiniklop natin yung pakpak ng paru-paru or the butterfly, you know, they have the same. Kaya nga can be interchanged. Yun yung tinatawag natin symmetry. Okay? We have this. Ibig sabihin niya, the number or the first number is equal to the second number. And the second number is equal to the first number. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng salitang symmetric property of equality. Let's have example. I have here, if x is equal to 5, pwede natin siya pagpalitin ng pwesto. 5 is equal to x. They have the same meaning. Okay, or value. Let's have number 2. If negative 3y is equal to 6, pwede natin pagpalitin or we can say that 6 is equal lang siya doon sa negative 3y. Remember, they can be interchanged. And the last example, we have 2x plus 1 is equal to negative 4y. Then we can say that negative 4y is equal lang siya doon sa 2x plus 1 kasi nga number or expressions can be interchanged. Okay, let's have number Three, that is transitive property of equality. Pag sinabi natin transitive property, if A is equal to B at yung B ay equal kay C at therefore, yung A ay equal sa C. Kung mapapansin natin, there are three quantities or expressions being compared na sila ay equal. Ibig sabihin yan, the first number is equal to the second number. The second number naman is equal lang siya doon sa third number. Then, our conclusion, yung first number is equal siya doon sa third number. So, ito yung ating real life example. No? Let's have, meron tayong students, si tatlo, no? we have student A, student B, at student C. Kukunin natin yung height ni student A. So, if student A have the same height of student B, 
and yung student B naman, same lang ng height kay student C. Therefore, we conclude that student A height have the same with student C. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng transitive property of equality. Meron tayong the three, the three expressions. Okay? And then, let's have example number one. If 3 plus 2 is equal to 5, then we can say that 5 is equal to 4 plus 1. Kung mapapansin natin, ito si A, ito si B. You have to follow the pattern this one. Okay. Then, ito naman si B, B pa rin, ito si C. Then, kukunin mo lang yung first yung third. Yun yung ating conclusion na dyan. We have 3 plus 2 is equal to 4 plus 1. So, ito yung A, tsaka C. Okay. Ito yung pattern natin dyan. And let's have number 2. If x plus 4 is equal to y minus 7, so if this is a, tapos ito si b, then we can say that y minus 7 is equal to 9. Ibig sabihin, ito si b, ito si c. Kukunin mo lang yung, yung first number or expression is equal doon sa third number natin. That is equal to 9. Kaya nga, ito si a, ito si c. Okay, yun po yung pattern. So, ganun lamang siya, yung transitive property of equality. Okay, let's have number three, uh, four, addition property of equality. So, this is also known as the acronym no APE. So, eto naman, if A is equal to B, then A plus C is equal to B plus C. Kung mapapansin natin dyan, so, from here, first, tsaka second number, nag-add ako ng parehas na constant or expression, no? Ibig sabihin niya, whatever you put on the left side or add, kailangan parehas doon sa right side. Yun yung ibig sabihin niya. That equality is still true if the same number is added to both sides of the equation. Okay? Let's have example in a real life, no? Like, for example, the children are playing at the playground, no? Okay, para masabing uh, balance yung kanilang weight doon sa, uh, sa season, no? Okay, kailangan yung weight na kanilang Hawak ay kailangan parehas. Ibig sabihin, if I have one dog on the left side, kailangan yung weight ng dog na bit-bit nung nasa kaliwa, kailangan same lang doon sa right side para masabing equal yung kanilang weight. Okay, that's the purpose of this addition property. Now, whatever you add on the left side, kailangan the same lang siya doon sa right side. Okay, let's have example. Number one, if 5 is equal to 3 plus 2, Okay, kung mapapansin natin dyan, mag add ako on both sides of the equation. Okay, ano yung add ko? Okay, kahit anong number yan, basta kailangan parehas po yung number. Kaya mag add, -add ako ng 4 both sides of the equation. Yun yung C natin na in -add. And kapag sinimplify natin dyan, 5 plus 4 is 9. The same with 3 plus 2. 5 na yun, plus 4, 9. Okay, next number 2. If x plus 8 is equal to negative 7, so kung mapapansin natin dyan, mag add ako on both sides of the equation, by any number, kailangan parehas yung inad natin. Yun yung konsepto ng addition property. And that is negative 8 being added on both sides. If, if we are going to simplify this, x na lang matitira sa left side, doon sa kabila yung negative 15. Okay, next number 3. Dito naman, if negative 3y minus 2 is equal to 10, then we can say that if negative 3y minus 2 plus blank is equal to 10 plus blank. Ibig sabihin niya, mag add ako on both sides of the equation by the same number dapat, okay? So, let's have two ang in ko. Basta kailangan dalawang, I mean, isang number pero parehas yung in ko dun sa left and right side of the equation. And therefore, kapag sinimplify ko yan, negative 3y na lang is equal to 12. Okay, paano nakuha yung mga value natin or the simplified answer? So, let's talk about that later doon sa ating discussion all about solving linear equation. But today, we are just focusing on how to use these properties. Okay, let's have number five. This is multiplication property of equality. So, dito naman, if A is equal to B, then A times C is equal to B times C. Pagka magkadikit na letter or variable, that is multiplication. Okay, parehas lang siya ng konsepto ng addition property, no? Nagkaiba lang na operation kasi under po tayo na multiplication. Ibig sabihin, the equality is still true if the same number is multiplied to both sides of the equation. Okay, let's have example, no? So, gaya ng sinabi natin kanina, whatever you put on the left side, dapat parehas lang din dapat. Okay? Sabuhin natin, di ba? Kailangan parehas yung ginagawa natin. Balansihin natin yung ginagawa natin to make it balanced, to make it healthy. And therefore, let's have example, let's this, no? Kapag nag-multiply ako na 2, kailangan 2 din. Okay? Number 1. If 5 is equal to 3 plus 2, let's have then 5 times blank is equal to 3 plus 2 times blank. 
Okay, mag-add, mag-multiply ako both sides of the equation by the same number. Let's say 4 ang aking minultiply. So, what is 5 times 4? Diba? 20 na po yan. Together with this, same lang siya. 3 times plus 2, 5 na yon Times 4, 20. Kaya that is multiplication. Property of equality. Okay, next number 2. If 2x is equal to negative 6, then we can say that 2x times block is equal to negative 6 times block. Kung mapapansin natin, ano yung imumultiply ko? Okay, any number, basta kailangan parehas. So, let's say 1 half ang minultiply ko. So, kapag sinimplify ko na yan, that is negative 3. Okay? Next, number 3. If negative 1 fourth y is equal to 6, okay, so, ibig sabihin nyan, magmumultiply ako both sides of the equation by the same number or expression. Let's say, nagmultiply ako dyan na, Pas, uh, negative 4. Kailangan parehas yung minultiply natin. And if we are going to simplify that, that will become y is equal to negative 24. Paano na kuha yung mga value ng x yung y po dyan? Okay? So, in-apply po yung mga properties. So, later on, we will discuss about solving linear equation in one variable for the next video lesson. Okay? So, with that, let's talk about substitution property of equality. Dito naman, pag sinabi substitution property of equality, if x is equal to y, then y can be substituted for x. When we say substituted, this is simply replace or ipapalit natin. Okay? For x in any expression containing x in the equation. Ibig sabihin yan, kung si x ay pares lang kay y, ibig sabihin si y pwede natin ipalit kay x kapag nandun si x sa equation. Okay, let's have example number one. If x is equal to 3 and y is equal to x plus 4, so kung mapapansin natin dyan, papalitan natin si x ng anong value? Yun yung 3. Kaya mawawala na si x. So therefore, y is equal to, ayan, substitute natin or replace that will become 3 plus 4. Kaya ang ating equation will be y is equal to 7. Okay, let's have number two. If 9x minus 5 is equal to 3x plus 7, we are going to replace or substitute the given value of x, which is 2, to the given equation. So we need to say, let's have this. 9 times 2 na yan, minus 5 is equal to 3 times 2. Kailangan parehas yung sinabstitute natin. And that will become 9 times 2, that is 18. Copy the negative 5. 3 times 2 is 6. Then copy the positive 7. Then we can now simplify. What is 18 minus 5? That is 13. The same sila. Di ba nakita natin balance eh. Yun yung ibig sabi ng substitution property. Whatever you substitute, kailangan makita natin na equal dun sa left and right side of the equation. So with that, let's check what you already know about this lesson. Okay, number one. Get ready. If x minus 3 is equal to 5, then x minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 5 plus 3. Okay, timer start. Okay, the correct answer is letter A, addition property. Bakit siya addition? Okay, kung na-observe natin, di ba? Nag-plus ako ng same number. That is 3 on both sides of the equation. Okay, number 2. If 2x is equal to negative 6, then 2x times 1 half is equal to negative 6 times 1 half. Okay, 5 seconds to answer. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is letter D, multiplication property. Okay, kung mapapansin natin, nag, di ba nag-multiply ako ng one half on both sides of the equation. Okay, next, number three. If x is equal to negative seven, then negative seven is equal to x. Timer starts. Okay, the correct answer is letter A, symmetric property. Kung mapapansin natin, di ba, they can be interchanged. Nagpalit po yung pwesto ni x kay negative 7. Okay, let's have number 4. If x is equal to 2, then 2 is equal to y, then x is equal to y. Okay, timer starts. Okay, the correct answer is letter D, transitive property. Remember, kung si first number ay equal sa second number mo at yung second number parehas kay third, then ang conclusion natin si first ay parehas lang kay third number. Okay, next number 5. If x is equal to 14 and x is equal to y, then we can say that y is equal to 14. Timer starts. Okay, time's up. The correct answer is letter D, substitution property. Kung mapapansin natin, di ba, nireplace ko yung value ni x is equal to y doon sa equation. Kaya naging y is equal to 14 siya. Okay, next number 6. If negative 4x is equal to 20, then we can say that x is equal to negative 5. So, timer starts. 
Okay, timer start. Timer up. The correct answer is the letter C. Multiplication property. Kung mapapansin natin, di ba, bakit siya naging negative 5 na lang to at x? Nag-multiply ako both side of the equation by the reciprocal of negative 4, which is negative 1 fourth. Okay? Next, number 7. If 5x minus 3 is equal to 9, then we can say that 5x is, is equal to 12. So, timer starts. Okay, the correct answer is letter B, addition property of equality. Remember, bakit nawala yung negative 3 at naging 12 na lang to? Okay, nag-add po ako both sides of the equation by the additive inverse of negative 3 which is positive 3. Kaya naging 12 na po ito. Okay, di ba? 9 plus 3, 12. Then, na-cancel na po yung negative 3. Kaya 5x na lang to. Okay, let's have number 8. 3 fourth is e 3 fourth x is equal to 3 fourth x. Okay, 5 seconds to answer. Okay, the correct answer is letter A, reflexive property. Remember, they have the same. Kasi reflection sa, sa mirror, di ba? Okay, let's have number 9. If y is equal to 2x plus 3 and x is equal to 1, then y is equal to 5. Timer starts. Okay, the correct answer is letter D, substitution property. Okay, kung makapagpapasin natin, natin ba, yung x is equal to 1, then replace po siya or sinabit yung dito. Kaya 2 times 1, 2 na yun, plus 3, kaya 5. Kaya y is equal to 5. Okay, let's have number 10. If y over 4 is equal to negative 2, then y is equal to negative 8. 5 seconds to answer. Okay, the correct answer is letter C, multiplication property of equality. Bakit siya multiplication kasi nag-multiply ako both sa the equation by 4. Yun yung reciprocal ni 1, 4. Remember, this is fraction. Ang, ang coefficient kasi ni y dyan is 1, kaya 1, 4 yan. And that is multiply both sa the equation by 4, kaya naging negative 8 na to. Nawala na yung over 4. Okay, next, number 11. So, you are going to identify the given uh, the... The unknown property being applied to get this simplified. Okay? So, timer starts. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nito, x is equal to negative 12. Bakit naging negative 12 na yan? Wala na yung 1 half. So, in-apply po dyan yung ating multiplication property. The reciprocal of 1 half kasi is 2. Kaya may multiply both sides by 2. Kaya naging negative 12 na to. Dito naman, bakit siya... Negative 12 is equal to x. From here, di ba? Anong ginawa ko dyan? So, in-interchange ko. Or, that is symmetric property. Can be interchange. Okay, let's have another. Number 12. This is number 12. So, 2x plus 5 is equal to 15. You are going to identify the property being applied to simplify this. Okay, timer starts. 5 seconds. Okay, time's up. So, from here, di ba naging 2x is equal to 10 siya mula dito sa given equation. Bakit nawala yung 5? Okay? Tapos naging 10 na lang to. So, in-apply po dyan yung addition property of equality. Na nag-add ako ng negative 5. Or that's the additive inverse of positive. Kaya naging, ano na lang to, no? Naging minus 5. Kaya naging 10 na lang to. Okay? Na-cancel na po yung 5 dyan. And dito naman, bakit naging x is equal to 5 na lang from dito? Okay? So, ibig sabihin na nag-multiply ako both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of 2, which is 1 half. Kaya, that is multiplication property. Kaya, 10 divided by 2 or 1 half of 10, that is 5. Dito naman, if x is equal to 5, then 2 times 5 plus 5 is equal to 15. So, ano yung apply na property? Substitution. Okay? Ginagamit ng substitution to make it uh, verify, no? to make it true, whether the given uh, answer is correct. Kaya, that is substitution property. Okay, with that, I hope you learned something about this.